think this is, this is the Air Warfare Symposium. Folks might be interested in if you have any ideas for the air domain specifically. The fighter jet era has passed. That is, it's just, yeah, fighter jet era has passed. Okay. So it's, it's drones. <laughs> well, I, you know, ever, ever since Star Wars first uh, debuted, this idea of being able to fly with autonomy to support you and, and cute little beeps and squeaks, right, has just really caught the imagination. And it's time to make that real. And so I am excited about our R2-D2 program, which that's not what we call it, but that's the what I refer to it. And I think the first thing that we'll field in programs like Skyboard, where we'll be teaming an autonomous wingman with a, with a manned platform, is when to when to trust the AI, what roles to put it in, so it has the best chance of having a positive impact, and when the human needs to override and reset. We want to design a pilot that can deal with an adversary that is intentionally trying to mess with them with the data that they're being shown, trying to thwart that convolutional neural net in a type of algorithmic warfare that has never existed, but will on the future battlefield. And then we wanna see where does it break and where does it not? And my expectation is this next generation of pilot is not gonna be ready to hand the reins over completely to R2-D2, but, but neither will they be willing to go into combat without R2-D2 if R2-D2 is available. And I expect, just like pilots in the era of stealth, had to develop an instinct for stealth, for radar cross-sections. Even if they didn't understand the fundamental physics, they had to get a sense for it, just as if it was inherent to their body. I expect that the next generation of pilots will have that instinct for AI.